A handful of upsets and new injuries are impacting sports betting in week six of the NFL. Here with me today to talk all about the odds for a handful of AFC East matchups, senior analyst at Sportsline, Larry Hartstein. Hey, Larry, are you ready for another week of sports betting? Let's do it. All right, let's dive right into the AFC East. I want to ask you just overall in this division, are you seeing any interesting betting angles or trends for this division? Well, the first thing that jumps out at you is just how historically bad the Jets have been thus far. Not only 0-5 straight up, but 0-5 against the spread and failing to cover by 11 points per game. So just the worst uh, team in the league by a lot of metrics. And then on the flip side, you look at the Patriots coming off of that uh, extra break they had uh, due to COVID and now fit facing a losing Denver team, Bill Belichick, 22 and six against the spread in their last 28 against losing teams. And I do want to talk about that game specifically, the Broncos and the Pats, the quarterbacks are a huge story in this one because are we going to see both Cam Newton and Drew Locke line up under center? And if we do, what can we expect, for, expect from each of them? Yeah, it definitely looks like we will see both of them. Cam Newton activated and Drew Locke practicing in full with the shoulder injury. So that's a great sign for him. And, you know, I think Cam, they're going to ease him back a little bit in terms of they're going to rely on the run game. They average 5.1 yards a carry. They rank second in the league in rushing. And then for Drew Locke, the key thing to watch for me is not only how is he, but how is Noah Fan? That's his, his number one target that he loves to throw to the big tight end. Uh, basically getting five catches a game, and he's been limited so far this week. So if you're thinking of taking the Broncos in the points, you want to make sure that he's going to be available. Up next, the Dolphins hosting the New York Jets. Miami for this matchup is a nine-and-a-half point favorite this week against the Jets. Now that seems like a massive spread, but is it justified? Well, we talked about how, how horrific the Jets are, but I think, you know, getting rid of Le'Veon Bell doesn't hurt them. I mean, he was averaging under less, less than four yards a carry, uh, a distraction, not being especially efficient. I don't think that makes them any worse. And then you look at the Dolphins coming off of an unbelievable performance at San Francisco. I mean, they could not have played better. And now they're laying almost double digits. If you look at the last seven times the Miami Dolphins have laid nine or more points, they haven't covered any of them. And finally, we have a powerhouse matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. Both these teams coming off their first loss of the season. They're 4-1, and one, both loaded with offensive talent. So who do you think is going to bounce back the strongest from the first loss of the season? I'm going to back the Chiefs here, and this is one of my official picks on Sportsline. Uh, just so devastatingly efficient on the road and coming off a loss. I mean, they had won 14 straight uh, dating back to last season and, and they have a rest advantage over the Bills who had to play that crazy Tuesday night game in Nashville. And the Bills have key injuries, you know, at linebacker, at corner, you know, Coach McDermott says those guys are improving, but we don't know if they're going to play and how healthy they're going to be. So I just think, you know, Andy Reid with even a, a, an extra day of rest, a lot of time to prepare. I mean, coming off a loss, look what Ryan Tannehill did to that Bills defense. And now think about what is Patrick Mahomes going to do. All right, Larry, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. You can read even more about his analysis right now on Sportsline. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.